can hear in front, it's Mrs. Sutherland here. Today I am going to be teaching you about a special holiday that we have coming up this week. Does anyone know what holiday is this week? It is on Wednesday, April 22nd, and if you look up at my board, here's a clue. What's this? It's an Earth. On Wednesday, it is Earth Day. I'm sure that some of you have heard of Earth Day before, but if you haven't, Earth Day is a holiday that is celebrated all around the world, and it was created a long time ago. It was created in 1970 by a U.S. Senator from Wisconsin. So the first Earth Day was in 1970, and that was 50 years ago. And when this guy created it, it was only celebrated in our country, the U.S., but now, 50 years later, it is celebrated all around the world by over 175 countries. So that is a lot of people celebrating Earth Day. And the reason that Earth Day was made is because it is a day that is all about celebrating our Earth and um, being thankful for everything that we have on our Earth and um, all about reminding people to take care of it. So um, our Earth is really special and we have some amazing things in our environment outside, so like um, our parks and our beaches and mountains and trees and just everything that we have outside in nature. Um, the point of Earth, Earth Day is so that you think about those things. So I am going to read you this little book. It is called Protect the Earth. And the author of our story is Emily Lizcom. So she wrote the words of our story. This is just a short little story that is going to teach us a little bit more about Earth Day. We celebrate Earth Day every year on April 22nd. We protect our Earth all year round. On Earth Day, we honor the Earth and celebrate. We recycle cans, plastic, and paper by putting them in a bin that has a recycling symbol on it. You guys see this symbol right here with the three arrows? I'm sure some of you have seen that before um, at your house or our school or at restaurants or lots of places and that is for recycling things. So recycling things is taking old things and turning them into new things. So like our book said, cans and plastic and paper can be recycled and some other things are like cardboard or glass. So all of those things you can, instead of throwing them away, which um, when we throw things away, then that creates a lot of trash and that can be a lot of trash for our planet. So it is better to, with if we can, to recycle things and make old things into new things. So you can prevent extra trash by adding biodegradable items to a compost bin outside your home. Most biodegradable items are food waste from the kitchen. Do you guys see this big word right here? That is biodegradable. And biodegradable means um, if something is biodegradable, then it can break down and become part of our earth. So a lot of people will make a compost pile, some of you might have done that before, where you use um, like food waste, like the book said, like um, this has eggs or tomatoes or broccoli. A lot of people use different fruits and vegetables or um, like banana peels or um, the skin or peels of fruit or different vegetables. And what you do is you take it and you um, put it outside in the dirt, like in your garden somewhere um, or just in the dirt. And what it does is it's kind of like nutrient, it kind of feeds the um, soil. It's good for our dirt and it will help our gardens grow so it that helps keep our earth healthy. Some people celebrate Earth Day by planting a tree, plant, or flower. You can do this in your own backyard with the help of an adult. Have some of you guys done that before with the help of someone in your family? If not, it's getting nice out, so I'm sure that you could ask your families if you could help them plant some things outside. That would be a great way to celebrate Earth Day. Help clean up the earth with your family and friends. 
And then this just says, Earth Day is April 22nd. How are you going to celebrate this year? So our book gave us lots of different ideas like recycling or having a compost pile or um, planting things like flowers or trees. Um, but there are lots of other things that you can do to celebrate Earth Day to help protect the earth or help clean it up. Can you guys think of anything? Some things that I thought of were um, you could pick up trash so that would help make our earth a cleaner place. And another thing that you could do is you um, sometimes people will leave all the lights on in their house and that um, uses up a lot of energy. So it's important to turn your lights off when you're not in a room or when you leave your house so that you are saving energy for our earth. And another thing that you can do is, that I bet a lot of you don't think about, um, is that you can save water. So I bet a lot of you sometimes when you brush your teeth, you start brushing your teeth and you leave the water, the sink on, the whole time you're brushing your teeth. But that is wasting a lot of water that you don't need to be using. So um, if you turn off the sink while you're brushing your teeth, then you are saving that water and it could be used somewhere else on our earth. So... I want you guys this week to help celebrate Earth Day. I want you guys to draw a picture or um, write about something that you can do to celebrate Earth Day. And remember, Earth Day is really important because um, all of us, us people, we, um, we are, we impact our environment. Our environment, the Earth is very important to us because it gives us a place to live and it provides us with food. So it's really important that we take care of it and um, we do things to help keep it nice and help, um, help the earth grow really. So help plants grow and help um, trees grow and keep it clean so that we can still have all the things that we have outside. So that we have parks to play at and beaches to go to and that all of those things are nice. So. I hope that you guys have a good week and enjoy celebrating Earth Day.